Hello everyone, welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. My name is Jason C. And welcome to this special episode of my updated list of top five go-to and available bourbons for 2020. So back in 2018, I made a video about my top five available and go-to bourbons. And when I went back and watched it recently, I realized how much my selections have changed just based on availability and based on what I like. Uh, so with all the best of the 2019 videos releasing that listed some delicious, but most likely really hard to find bourbons, I thought it'd be a fun to remake that list from back in 2018 and see what my selection would be now in 2020. My criteria was simple. First, if a bottle of any of these top five bourbons is close to being empty, I know I could go to the store, walk in, find it on the shelf, and purchase a replacement that day. Now remember, what's available and accessible in my area could be different from yours, so I tried to include bourbons that I've seen universally in different states and cities as best as I could. Secondly, I also thought it'd be fun to include five different bourbons that must be from five different distilleries. So even though there's probably three bourbons from Wild Turkey I could probably put in this list, I can only choose one. In today's day and age of special releases and allocated bottles that get the spotlight throughout the year, these five bourbons offer great value, are affordable, and most of all, are easy to find. So let's get started. Coming in at number five is Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, sometimes referred to as Evan Williams White Label. This bourbon was released in 2012, has a mash bill of 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley, and carries a price of about only 17 bucks. Now this is from Heaven Hill and Bottled and Bond, which means it's at least four years old, bottled at 100 proof, and aged in a federally bonded warehouse under US government supervision. This bourbon carries that typical Heaven Hill honey roasted peanut and oak flavor with some layers of vanilla, caramel, hint of dark fruit with a medium and very sweet finish. Now this is not complex or will have flavors that blow you away by any means, but for $17, you'd be hard pressed to argue its value. It's full flavored, sweet, nutty, available, and number five on my list. Coming in at number four is Four Roses Single Barrel. Now the Four Roses standard 100 proof single barrel is always their OBSV recipe. It's bottled at 100 proof, the mash bill consists of 60% corn, 35% rye, and 5% malted barley. Now the strain of yeast used in this version is V, which is described as being delicate, fruity, spicy, and creamy. Now this bourbon has a great nose with apricots, butterscotch, dark fruits, but the palate is really where it shines. This bourbon is creamy, floral, citrusy, spicy, a little minty, and it really coats the palate really well. Now what's fun about these is Four Roses uses two different mash bills and five different yeast strains to create 10 different unique bourbon recipes. So other than the OBSV, you have OESK, OBSK, OESO and more. This one happens to be an OESQ, which is a very unique recipe as well. Um, private barrel selects can be about 80 bucks, but you could try the ones you like to find your favorite recipe. But if 80 bucks is too steep for you, you can buy this one, the standard release, get a great bourbon for the price with a lot of flavor, a lot of complexity, and that's why it makes my number four on the list. Coming in at number three is Knob Creek Single Barrel. Now, Knob Creek might be one of the most well-known brands from Jim Beam, and Knob Creek Single Barrel might be the best value out of all of them. At nine years old, priced at about 40 bucks and bottled at 120 proof and wildly available everywhere, this bourbon is packed with brown sugars, caramels, vanillas, cinnamon, honey roasted peanut flavors, and a lot of sweet oak. This is pretty close to barrel proof bourbon at an affordable price, but another great thing about Knob Creek Single Barrel is you could find store picks that can sometimes be almost up to 15 years old like this one that are still only about $45. It's an incredible value and my number one selection from 2018 that still made the list for 2020. Coming in at number two is Old Forester 1920 Prohibition. Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style is the third expression in the Old Forester Whiskey Row series. This bourbon pays homage to the fact that during Prohibition, only six Kentucky distilleries were granted permits to bottle bourbon for medicinal purposes, and Brown Foreman was one of them. In 1920, the first bottles under this permit were produced to match the usual barrel proof of that bourbon after maturation, presented at 115 proof. Old Forrester Prohibition 1920 has really been the darling of the Whiskey Rose series for some time and with good reason. Bottle at 115 proof, priced around 50 to 60 bucks. This bourbon may be ranked number two, but it really is kind of my 1B because it is so good. 
The flavors on this bourbon are powerful, robust, and very layered. There's chocolate, cherry, dark fruits, a hint of banana, barrel char, and oak make this an extremely delicious offering from Old Forester and one of my absolute favorites. Price at 50 to 60 bucks, it's just as good or better than many bourbons uh, that are priced in excess of $100 or more that I've had recently. If you're a fan of Old Forester birthday bourbon and can never really find one, buy this. This may not have all the flavors of a birthday bourbon from Old Forester, but the proof is there, the quality is there, and more importantly, it's actually accessible and another winner from Old Forester. That's why it's my number two or my number one B. Coming in at number one is Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Now, if you were wondering where the turkey was, here it is. Wild Turkey makes delicious bourbon that's high quality and highly accessible, and this one is my favorite of the bunch. Russell's Reserve Single Barrel is considered the premium offering from Wild Turkey, bottled at 110 proof. This is non-chill filtered, set to be around eight years old, and priced around 50 to 55 bucks. Now, Russell's Reserve Single Barrels are hand-selected by the legendary Eddie Russell for quality and flavor. Now, what separates this offering from other Wild Turkey products is the mouthfeel. This is non-chill filtered, which keeps all those delicious flavors from Wild Turkey intact, and also adds some other layers of flavor that you might not get in the Wild Turkey 101 or even Rare Breed. Lots of vanilla and butterscotch, almonds, oak, baking spices, cherries, even a little maple syrup can be found in the glass and on the palate. The finish has orange zest, a little bit more vanilla, and sweet oak char that just lingers on for a good amount of time. It's full flavored, full bodied, available, and at 55 bucks, it's well worth your time. Like Knob Creek Single Barrel and Four Roses Single Barrel, Russell's Reserve Single Barrels are also popular for store picks, which can give you even more of a unique flavor profile instead of their regular offerings on the shelf. If you do happen to see any, look for picks from warehouses A, D, or C and F. Some of my personal favorite picks have come from those warehouses in particular. But either way, you can't go wrong with a Russell's Reserve Single Barrel, my number one go-to and available bourbon for 2020. There you have it everybody, my top five go-to and available bourbons for 2020. Now there are a bunch of others I would have added to this list like Old Grandad 114, Wild Turkey 101, Rare Breed, Old Grandad Bonded, Makers 46, JTS Brown Bottled and Bond, Elijah Craig, and I could go on and on, uh, which goes to show you all the affordable and available bourbons out there that you can get without having to pay 100 to 200 bucks on a special release that might be just as good or worse than some of these. So let me know down in the comments what your top fives are and to get the conversation started, remember your top fives all have to be from different distilleries, which makes it a little bit more challenging, but really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Find me on Instagram and find me on Twitter. And with that, and as I always say, it is not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers and I'll see you next time on The Mash and Drum.